these are your, your PSI. Yeah, that hurts. Here. here, feel that inflammation in there. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't yeah. see a doctor. I probably should have. It's okay. You're in a doctor right now. Yeah, I'm in good hands. That's right. Hi, Kayla. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, people usually don't come here and tell me how good they're feeling. So, how can I help you today? Well, my boyfriend's motorcycle last week, so my back's kind of messed up. But... Motorcycle accident? Yeah. All right, tell me about the motorcycle accident. Were you guys going fast? Or did yeah, you not get really. Hit, did you get hit by a car? Did you hit another car? No, we were leaving school, and I was on the back. I had his backpack in my purse, so I had all the weight, and I don't know. We went and the bike just kind of popped up and so we weren't going fast and I was holding on but not tight enough. I kind of just fell off the back. You fell, she fell off the back? Yeah, that's okay. what happened. Right. So, um, so I don't want to say accident, maybe incident. It was an incident. Okay, it was an incident, fair enough. That's okay, that's, a, that's more accurate language, I appreciate yeah. that. Alright, so when you hit the ground, what part of you hit? I literally landed flat on my butt because I didn't fall back and hit my head at all. I literally like... I just remember like it happened so fast I didn't even like know what happened. I just looked up and he was there and I was on the ground and I was like, <gasps> okay. And I got up and I was like, couldn't really walk. I got on the bike. We only had to ride a minute home because we we're right beside the school and then mm -hmm. I didn't move for like three days. <laughs> when you fell, it was it more on the right side or the left side? It's completely my left butt cheek. My right is like untouched. The left is bruised and was cut up and everything. My right side, nothing at all. Uh, have you had any pain go down your legs at all? Or has it just been centered into that one area that yeah, you it's fell? it's just like my tailbone my, okay. like my hips. Not really. My legs or anything like that. Alright, you didn't go to the hospital, you didn't no. have any x-rays or anything? I probably but I didn't. <laughs> have you ever had any back pain or low back pain before the incident? I mean, I model, so in general, like from like when I go on photo shoots for days and days, you're always arcing your back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that, like my lower, my middle back, I'm always telling my boyfriend to rub my back because it's just always so sore. Okay. Yeah. Does it help when he, when he works on it? <laughs> yeah, for the little time that he does. <laughs> mm -hmm. So your low back hurts when you're modeling, and then does it usually go away on its own? Does yeah, it ever stick around for more than a day? Okay, so a couple like, of days. I take salt baths and stuff like that. All right, good. And they're helpful right away? Mm -hmm. Yeah, relaxing. I don't know how much help they do, but... Alright, who? how did you learn how to take an Epsom, Epsom salt bath? Who told you how to do that? I don't know. I've been doing that for a while. I've always played sports growing up, so like I think I've always taken Epsom salt baths. Okay. I was always told to, at least, to relax my muscles and stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, what kind of sports did you play when you were younger? I played lacrosse. I really? I crossfit all my life, even in college, yeah. Okay. Were you an attacker? Yeah, I was. Okay, goal scorer. Yes. All right, so... Um, Ew, are you psychic? That was scary. No, actually... <laughs> I didn't okay. like that. Actually, uh, uh, <clears throat> okay, so you were a striker. Did you have any injuries when you were in high school? Mm, my AC joint, like, someone checked me over the shoulder and they said, like, so it's always popped like that. But other than that, okay. I dislocated my hip in, like, seventh grade and my knee. How did you dislocate your hip? Hip was in the cross and then my knee was, like, running around the couch. Chasing my little sister or something stupid. Okay. But left hip, right knee. It was okay. both my left hip and my left knee. Okay, but no problems resurfacing yeah, no. for a while since then. No, I've been okay, yeah. Okay, very good. And so your AC joint, it's this up here? Or do you so feel it down in here? Down here, it pops right here. That that that's the term my trainer told me about. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what she said it was. This side doesn't do it, but ever since it happened, it's always popped and she said it always will. It doesn't bother me. It grosses people out when I do it. Is but... there any pain there? No, not really. Okay. It pops, weirdly. So do you ever have any numbness tingling into your fingers, into your arms? Mm -mm. Okay, do you ever have any radiating pain, numbness tingling into your feet, legs? Mm -mm. Okay, very Poor good. circulation, but no pain. <laughs> Alright, tell me about that. What do you mean by poor circulation? My feet and hands are always freezing. Like, I'll be okay. sweating, my body will be hot, my hands and feet will be ice cold. Okay. All the time. Alright, how long have you know? Is that a new trend, or no, is that something that's, that's old? That's always been a thing, yeah. But do you have any headaches ever? I suffer from migraines. I've been going to a neurologist since I was in fourth grade. Okay. Been on like every headache pill out there for it, but mm -hmm. it seemed to have gotten better over the past couple years. So I've been older. What age were you when it started getting better? Probably just a couple years ago. Like okay. I don't get. I used to go to the hospital like three or four times a year. Now I might go once every two or three years. I don't have to go as often anymore. Okay. My so medicine you... seems to keep it under control now. So when you get the migraines, do they usually put you out for a day? Do you have to go to sleep? Yeah. You have the aura. Light and sound and everything. Sensitivities. Super yeah. Okay. Do you have nausea with it as well? Yeah. When did those start? Do you remember the first time you had a migraine? 
I've always had them all my life, and I think it just got to the point, like, when I was in fourth grade, my parents just then took me to a doctor, and they said that I needed to see a neurologist. Mm-hmm. I had, like, MRIs and everything done, because mm-hmm. my dad was tired of seeing me being in pain and sick, but my mom has had them when she was younger, so they kind of just said it was hereditary. Did you have any other illnesses as a child? Allergic to bees. And I have exercise-induced asthma, like, when I run and stuff. I've always had to take an inhaler when I played lacrosse. Okay. But other than that, nothing. I broke my hand in lacrosse last okay. December. Um, do you have any food allergies? No, I'm a human trash can. I eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's spicy. I don't like spicy food. You don't like spicy food? No, I don't eat anything but spicy food. Why? What's wrong with spicy? I don't know. I don't have the taste buds for it. It makes me like cry and sweat and mm-hmm. like burns my soul. That's why you need to do it. That's that's actually <laughs> no. why you should eat spicy food. That's the whole point is to <sighs> just to have it burn your face and burn yeah, your soul. Yeah, no. <laughs> do you have anything else in your medical history? Do you remember anything else from when you were a child that might be relevant or may even not seem relevant? Any other conditions, sicknesses, illnesses, diagnoses that you can remember? Mm, no, not really. Do you know how you were born? Were you born uh, natural or cesarean? From my mom. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I hope. Mm-hmm. I hatched out of an egg. I'm just kidding. You had what? I hatched out of an egg. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, what were you asking? I Do you know if you were a cesarean or a natural birth? Natural, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 100% natural. Have you ever been adjusted before? I'm going to say no. Like, not fully, no. Okay, so you had someone look at you and do yeah. a little bit of work, but not a full spine adjustment. Yeah, no. All right, so I'm gonna do an examination on your spine first. We'll talk the entire way through it. If you have any questions at any time, just let me know. And then afterwards, I'm gonna get you adjusted. We'll walk through the procedure. And if you have any questions, just stop me and let me know. And we'll go nice and slow and take our time, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's see what your spine says and we'll go from there. Okie dokie. All right, Kayla, the first thing I'm gonna do is scan your spine with my fingertips, okay? We're gonna start at the top of the spine here. Nice and gentle, we're just gonna go over the top of the spine. You wanna put me to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the tone starts up here in the top left. A little bit increased activity. And then now it kind of switches over to the right side as we come down. So I'm going to do a temperature assessment with the back of my fingers. Nice and even all the way down until we get to the lumbar spine on this side, which is just a little bit warmer than here on the left. We're going to come all the way down past your belt line, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the sacrum here. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, so it's tender here. This is S1. I'm going to put my hands on your hips to locate the lumbar spine, okay? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, L4, L5, S1. So this is the fourth, fifth lumbar vertebra. So tender here, right? Yeah. Okay, what about here? Is that one tender too? No, not as much, but a little bit. Okay, so we're tender at S1. I'm going to dip off to the sides here, right or left? Left. Okay, we're gonna test the motion of the SI joint on the left, so just lean back here, pain? A little bit. Okay, now here, this way, pain? Um, like where you're pushing. Okay, here, pain? Not as much. Not as much, so S1, S2, now right side. Pain there? Mm-mm. Pain here? No. Good, pain here? Mm-mm. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna come up to the top of the spine again, and we're gonna push in just a little bit deeper this time. And feel and feel for, here, let's get you. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna come back up to the top of the spine and push in just a little bit deeper, okay? Uh-huh. Here we're feeling for the muscles that are activated. Is there pain there? Yeah. Okay. And here, okay. All right, yeah. so the so there's one other spot here. Is that tender? Yeah. Okay, not so much on the right though. Yeah. Okay, here, tender? A little, not a little, so little. Much. Okay, so good, here. So we're about, about T5 there. 
We got some upper thoracic T1, T2. All right, go ahead and stand up for me. Okay. And face that way. This way? Yep. All right, take half a step forward. Okay, good. All right, um, first of all, do you mind showing me the bruise? Yeah, Can we see the I bruise? Okay, there. It was like big black and blue, now it's fine, I think, but it was... Okay, so this, this whole thing right this here. This was scraped all the way down, but pretty much chill. But yeah, this is like just green, a little bit of purple. It was literally like bright purple before. Same with like up here, it's still kind of swollen. Okay, I can see a little bit of swelling yeah. right there too. All right, good. All right, so let's just do this. What we're going to do here is watch you walk, or we're going to watch you walk in place. Okay. So we want to even out your pants so it doesn't throw off the angle. And so the first thing that you're going to do here is just start marching in place. Right foot, left foot. There you go. A little bit higher. Good. Down. Yeah, keep going just like that. Good movement on the right. And a little bit less on the left. Okay, keep going. Let's just observe. <laughs> okay. But there's a little bit of dropping here on the right, and the left is raising up. And so watching the feet is a little bit different. Okay, stop walking here. All right, so now I'm going to look at the gluteus maximus fibers, okay? So the first thing you're going to feel are my fingers on the back of your thighs. Mm -hmm. And we're going to trace it up to the gluteal fold. And it's just about perfectly even right here. Looking from the top angle, it's slightly more elevated on the left, which means mm -hmm. this would be going EX and this would be going IN potentially, externally rotated versus internally rotated. All right, so we'll check that again laying down, but let's go watch you walk, okay? All right, Kayla, here's what we're gonna do. A nice, normal walk this way towards me, okay? Yeah. Just, yeah, right towards me, towards the camera. All right, looking at the feet first, we've got some crossover happening there. Go back the other way. And turn turn, yeah, turn around, yep. All right. Okay, so the feet are moving, or go all the way down, all the way down. Walk a little bit faster. You can see how the feet are crossing over one or the other. It's, it's training right there. Did you ever walk a runway? No. Okay, keep coming. Just walk a little <laughs> My short legs look like I've walked a runway. <laughs> uh, knees look okay, slightly valgus. Go ahead and go that way. And your toes pointed inward. Yeah. Okay. All right, coming up to the hips. Sorry, my leg. <laughs> swing looks pretty even. A little bit more shoulder swing on the right. Turn around this way. It might just be because you have swagger. All right, keep, keep coming this way a little <laughs> bit more. I'm trying to walk like loose, like not tightening myself up. Okay. Okay, one more time, go that way. Okay, shoulder swing is even with the hip swing. And again, we just have a slight asymmetry and a, a possible restriction. One more time towards me. <laughs> And the right hip looks like it's coming up, up higher than the left hip. Okay. All right, that's good. How does it feel when you walk? Do you no. feel it in your tailbone? Uh, no. Well, the only place I feel it in my tailbone when I've noticed, like, I've been able to kind of, the first couple of days I really couldn't move. Then I was able to walk, and now it's just like, if I bend over to a certain point, it mm -hmm. hurts. Okay. I thought I just felt something pop, which was really weird. But, um, and if I try to lift up something heavy, then it hurts down there. Okay, so we're going to see what your spine feels like laying down because it sometimes tells a little bit different story. Okay, so, so left or right? I can't really tell. Both? Like, okay. Both, I guess. Okay, still upper thoracic and mostly left by my account. Now, coming here to that T5 again, it seems to have flattened out a little bit, but I can definitely... Yeah, it's so very tall. So. Okay, same spot. All right, now, a little bit more gentle coming down into the lumbar spine. Do you feel a difference between the left or the right here? Uh-uh. Here. Uh-uh. Okay, let's do this now. Keeping your legs, keeping your knees straight, lift this entire leg in the air. Good, down. Okay, now left. Down. Right. Good, down. I know I was going to get a workout today. <laughs> okay, one more right. 
down. Hold on, we have to do that one again. Just let your back fully relax. There you go. Okay, right, down, left, down. Okay, that's perfect. So the right lumbar is okay, but the left lumbar, so it seems like that L5 S1 oh. is gonna show up on the left, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the legs. Bring this up here. Okay, a right short crosses over to become a right long. Everyone has a one leg shorter than the other. That's not like yeah. an anomaly. You don't have a condition that you need to worry about and go Google and look up and find all kinds of terrible <laughs> things about. I'm dying. Exactly. Let's take a look at these trap fibers here and see how the trap is attaching to the occiput. Tender? Mm. Not too bad. Here or mm. here? Mm. It feels good. It doesn't hurt. How do your migraines respond to caffeine? Um. Well, see, my doctors growing up always told me not to have caffeine. Like, don't drink tea, don't drink soda. And I always drink a lot of tea, and so they always said they came from caffeine. But I take Excedrin migraine now instead of, like, when I don't want to take my hardcore migraine medicine. Mm -hmm. And Excedrin migraine is caffeine, and it helps. So I don't really know. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Tender? Yeah. Tender. Mm-hmm. Tender? Not as much. Here? Yeah. Which AC joint was that again? That was your right. Yeah. Okay. Let's just look at that right here. Is there any tenderness there? Mm-mm. Okay. That's right now. Okay. Lift your right hip up just a little bit. Go down. Go left hip up just a little bit. Down. Okay, so this is an instrument. It's okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. This is what it sounds like. You want to see it? What is it? <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a very gentle percussion machine. Okay, so this is what it feels like. We're not going to do it on your sacrum because you have a bruise there. So we're just going to start at the lumbar spine. Good. Good relax there. <laughs> way, to, way to sink into it. I was embracing it. <laughs> okay. All right. And so pressure's okay? Yeah. Okay, this is just going to help loosen up your spine, help the muscles relax. Break up any tension that's in there and get you ready for the adjustment, okay? Mm -hmm. So it kind of takes your breath away? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a funny feeling. Uh, do you feel like a shortness of breath with it? Yeah, not like in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Kind of like in a good way, I guess. Hmm. Like butterflies? Yeah, I don't know. Like almost like kind of, not like your heart stops like that moment. Like like short, yeah, I guess like shortness of breath. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let me know if your heart stops. <laughs> well, if I stop talking. <laughs> Pressure here is okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's come back down now. Still good? Mm-hmm. Not too much? Mm-hmm. All right, so I know you have a bruise on your left glute muscle, so we're going to be very gentle and check for some glute fiber uh, trigger points, okay? Mm-hmm. On the right side is, is most likely where we're going to find them. All right, so this is tender here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not too bad though. You don't have many trigger points here in the glutes, it's good. I'm gonna do a test with a tuning fork, okay? And so mm -hmm. basically you're gonna hear me hit the tuning fork and then I'm gonna place it on top of your tailbone. Pain? Mm. So what happens with the tuning fork is that if you have a fracture, you'll jump off the table, okay? The vibration will make you basically scream. Like it hurts a little, but not a lot. You would know. Yeah. Nothing, right? Yeah. Good. We'll just test the L5 too. Good? Yeah. All right. 
Let's start with that T5 right here. Okay, so let's practice an adjustment first, just so you can kind of feel what it's like, okay? Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is take a deep breath in through your nose, then out through your mouth. I'm gonna follow your breath down like this with my hands, and at the end of your breath, we'll give a little push like that. All right, so same thing again, deep breath in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Good, and just kind of sink in, let it all go. Yeah, I needed that. How's that pressure, okay? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh. All right. You have a very flexible upper thoracic spine here. I feel like I'm flexible everywhere. <laughs> okay. Okay, one more time, deep breath in. And out. Good, and just sink in, let it go. Oh. Mm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so let's take care of that L5S1. All right, we're gonna scoot your forward just a little bit, and then this one forward just a little bit, okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna follow your breath, and as you breathe out, we're just gonna stretch your shoulders are gonna come up this way and your hips this way and they'll give a little push, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, take a nice soft breath in and out through your mouth. Good, gentle, gentle. Good. And your back. Ooh. Okay. Let's do the other side. Okay, lay on your side, face the other way. Do you crack your own back? Uh, sometimes, yes, that's like the only thing that cracks on my body because I feel like I'm double joint, like my fingers don't crack, like yeah. nothing. But in the morning, uh, I wake up and okay. I go like this sometimes, uh -huh. and sometimes, but. Forward again. And, that one. and then let your shoulders relax this way. We're gonna bring this down like this. Hold on, don't undo it. There you go. Okay, we're gonna bring this down here and give it a little push, okay? Mm -hmm. Deep breath in through your nose and out. Good, shoulders relaxed. Good, we're gonna bring this down a little further. Oh. That's why it was much more successful. <laughs> mm. oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, lay on your back. Baby. Okay, All what right. am I doing? Come back to, go back to the other side again. This side? Mm. Yep. Oh, no, I'm on I feel like I can breathe. Face, it, like, spins it. Like, more than normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you say, mm hmm, I can't tell if you're being serious or being sarcastic. No, no, mm -hmm. it's serious. It's, it's, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard. All right, so now that I know that you're super flexible in your hips, we're gonna do this <laughs> one again, okay? Yeah. All right, so shoulders relax, and just here, hold on, I'm gonna bring it forward again one more time. Okay, nice, soft breath in and out. Good, sinking in, let your shoulders relax a little bit more. Good. Oh, yeah. Lay your back. I feel lighter. Mm. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's do this. Roll back to this side again. Roll back to this side again, and then throw your legs off the table and push yourself up. What do you mean? Yeah, get off the table. I mean, get up off the table. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's take it for a test drive. Go ahead and walk to that side of the room, and then walk back to this side of the room. I feel weird. Is it weird if I say I feel hot right now? No, no, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> no, like I really do. Like. <laughs> you mean you like you feel hotter than you did before? No, not hot, high. Like, like I feel like. You say high or high? High, like. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, that's actually like really a good. natural high. Like I feel, that's I don't right. know, relaxed and really weird. <laughs> awesome. uh -huh. I feel good. Why am I walking? Keep going. We're just gonna do like two laps. All right, and then show me what you showed me before out there when you said it hurts when I bend forward and do this. Oh, like. Do that again. Okay? It doesn't hurt as bad. One more time. Keep going. Go down. Stretch. Bend your, yeah, and then come back up. That was really short. Okay. We're gonna get there. No, I feel good. All right, come back up. Definitely feels a lot better. Okay, you ready for a neck adjustment? Yes. I'm just a little scared. 
It's just like I've never like I know people on the regular like I see people with my friends all the time crack their necks. I mm. never have cracked my neck ever. See, I'm too scared. To, like I don't want. I don't know how. Mm. I don't. And I watch people do it. I'm just too scared. But like.